What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Snake815, and I'm back with another reaction video. Man, shout out to Kiki T. Um, this video is uh, JT and Young M.A. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I'm just gonna get my opinion. I haven't watched the video yet, but we definitely gonna get into the video. A lot of y'all be mad about what I say, man. I'm gonna say what I say. Y'all comment, I'm gonna come right back under y'all comment. Exactly how I feel. You know, like, everybody titled to opinion. This stuff be allegedly, but we we titled to our opinion. We obligated to believe whatever we believe. Just like I'm gonna tell y'all right now. JT... And young M.A. is trash to me. They garbage. The city girls is garbage. I'm not going to lie. They always been garbage. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they garbage. Let's get into this video. Y'all, it looks like we finally have the real tea on why JT and Young Miami really fell out. And according to JT, it was because she felt some type of way about Young Miami and Young M.A.'s success. And she got jealous. They got into it a couple of months ago where JT gaslighted Young Miami into thinking Miami was the problem, but she just opened up and revealed what really happened. She also had a lot to say about Young Miami's other bestie, Saucy Santana, and accused Santana of playing a part in the fall of the City Girls. So what exactly did Santana say? And has JT really been jealous of Miami for years? Fans first picked up on some tension between JT and Miami early last year because it was clear that something was off between them. It got clearer when JT didn't attend Miami's birthday party or even wish her a happy birthday. We were trying to figure out what happened between them, but according to this interview that she did, it kind of seemed that JT was kind of jealous of Miami's situationship with Diddy. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully, um, the future of the City Girls can beat the City Girls. Mm -hmm. And I pray that our egos does not, like, separate it. Mm -hmm. Or the internet, or... Are you... A guy. Mm -hmm. Or, like, nothing. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, mm -hmm. nothing. To be fair, it's not exactly a mystery as to why JT would feel this way. Because Miami's situation with Diddy opened a lot of doors to her that JT didn't exactly have access to. I mean, Diddy had her going to the Met Gala as his plus one. And even gave her her own podcast show on his Revolt TV brand. Don't even get me started on the BET award that she won and how people were saying that Diddy bought it for her. So yeah, yeah. her situation with Diddy put her a step ahead she of Diddy. She tried. She didn't win no award. And people kind of clocked this tea when she started to distance herself from Miami. Even more, Miami started to hint that she was done with the city girl and wanted to focus on being Diddy's shawty wop like he said. She tweeted, I don't even rap no more. I retired, y'all. They did release one last album together last year titled Raw, but we later found out that it had been lined up to be released since 2022, but was postponed because Beyonce was dropping her Renaissance album. JT and Miami couldn't even keep it together to do the publicity run for the album. And it turned out to be a flop, selling only 10,000 copies in the first week. <laughs> they first. However, things took a turn for Miami when Diddy started getting sued left and right, and fans started to connect her to some of his despicable activities, even though there was no evidence to prove that she took part in those activities or even knew about them. That changed when Lil Rod accused her in his lawsuit for allegedly helping Diddy transport two seats. According to the court documents, Plaintiff and the Combs Rico Enterprise were rehearsing for something in the West of in Virginia. The court filing reads, Plaintiff Jones personally witnessed Mr. Combs do a few lines of in his dressing room. Defendant Sean Combs wanted to see, but Brendan forgot it, so defendant Christina Quorum called Young Miami, who then brought it on the private jet from Miami. He also exposed her as being a S worker, saying, Young Miami, Jade, and Daphne Joy were paid a monthly fee to work as Mr. Combs' S workers and received payment via wire transfer from Robin Greenhill, which outlined defendant's ongoing criminal operation. Miami was fighting for her life against the internet after that, before people were coming for her left and right. We expect the JT to fly in and defend Miami like she typically does, but it was crickets from her. And that was when we knew for sure that things were really bad between them. But if y'all think that this was the worst of it all, let me set you straight. Because they just got into a crazy fight on Twitter that left us all shook. Because it got really messy. It's clear that things have been heating up between the scenes before it exploded on Twitter. It started when Miami accused JT of sneak dissing her, saying, A B been sneak dissing me for weeks and I ain't say nothing. What a B mad at me for? JT was not having this and she clapped 
clap back saying, oh, Miss Mama, this your last day playing down. It'll be too much for me to tweet. I would like a sit down, Carisha, please. And this time, leave Santana home. There was speculation that JT and Santana weren't on good terms, and her name dropping him in this kind of confirmed it. She also said, I know I come off crazy, but never in my life did no whack ish to this girl. She literally enjoys seeing me being dragged. When people show me love, she goes crazy and call it a hate train. But like I said, we can sit and talk about it. Miami accused JT of being a bad friend, saying, of be trying to kick me while I'm down and play into these narratives. It's dangerous when I've been nothing but a friend to you. But JT checked this real quick when she replied, you looking for a way out of your situation? Who was the first person called when it all started? You're a sad case. Miami said, you weird but always want to act like I'm a weirdo. You always mad, it's always a problem. And all I try to do is push you, tell you, you the ish, you can rap, you should model, etc. You always mad, you doing your ish as you should. Congratulations, but somehow you still mad. She continued, you let the internet put it in your head that I'm jealous of you. Well, you know I'm the one that always pushed us. You have resentment towards me and that's okay. <laughs> she then accused JT of throwing shade at her in her song saying, for you to come on here and try to play victim is crazy. Jatavia, you've been sneak dissing me for the last couple of days. I haven't said ish back to you. You made two whole songs dissing me, and I still rapped your songs with my chest and showed love. So what's the real problem here? To be fair, Miami made solid points here because when JT was locked up, Miami was the one pushing the city girls. Everybody expected her to go solo, but she stood ten toes down behind JT, shouting free JT for the world to hear. JT then accused Miami of playing favorites by defending Saucy Santana while not doing the same for JT. She said, if I'm ever mad, I have a reason to be behind closed doors. You have done stuff to me that you think I should just get over. You never come to my defense when I would have literally took a bullet for you. When CT popped off, I was there first episode. And when someone canceled, I showed up in a red wig. Keep calling me mad like the internet do, but you know me, my heart pump gold. I wish you the best always, and I love how fast you got one here behind Santana. Santana slapped back at this and claimed that JT was disloyal. He said, bingo, the last sentence is the problem. This what it always been. How much have I bigged you up? Had your back. Been with you through highs and lows. Always congratulated. Boosted confidence and egos. You know the real. So why it's always shade for me. One minute you love me. Next minute I'm Carisha friend. Santana also said, never did nothing ill to you. Somehow I always ended up on the receiving of the shade. From the live when you first got out. Then followed block boy JB calling me the F word and you sat there snatching mics at Rolling Loud calling me your favorite I on your V-Day, what have I ever done to you besides being a friend? It was a hot mess and it wow. came across like JT felt like Miami was a better <laughs> friend to Santana than her. Miami hung out with Santana more than JT and I think she put Santana on more than she did with JT and I guess JT felt a type of way over this. Well, after all the drama, JT finally spoke out about the situation between her and Miami, admitted that she felt a type of way about Miami and that Eagles had a role to play in their argument and their relationship falling apart. So what was going through, for a minute I thought it was like a little publicity Stunt, but what was going through your mind when you and uh, Miami was going back and forth and people was trying to pick it up and then y'all immediately closed it out within literally like 30 minutes or less? Like, were you gagged um, or were you like, I don't care? From which side? Like, from which, from my side? Just okay. gagged that it was a public thing. Like, gagged that, okay, we really online, well, me and my girl really online going back and forth. I mean, it's not that unusual. Y'all are just popular. Um, no, I wasn't gagged. I knew that it was gonna, it was gonna end up there. It was gonna end up somewhere. But I wasn't gay. I wasn't gay. And um, I was more like, more so hurt than gay. I was like, like that. Like, I did not want that to happen. But it's just, it's just like when you get to the point of ego and it's like, it gets there. You know, you forget yeah. to express yourself in a private setting or you forget to talk how, like adults because it's both of us getting this attitude of, who you think you are, you know? And then yeah. it's just, and it's just like mm -hmm. it, it happened, and it, it's, it was stupid, and it, it's, it's, it's done, it's over, yeah. it, and, it, and, and now it's funny to both of us. <laughs> you guys now it's hilarious to both of us. Now it's a, now it's just a funny thing in time to us. Like I can't believe, you, you know? Yeah, you guys handled it really, really well. I just, like I said, I feel like when we do speak on it and whatever happened, if we ever speak on it, she should be able to tell her style or how she feel or like, you know, because we both were dead ass wrong. It wasn't the right person in that situation. And I, and I feel like that's just something that we should talk about as adults. Like, 
because it's a key now. Like, it's very funny. Like, when I think about it, I can't believe it. And um, she texted me the other day about something. And because I, uh, you know I me, mean? I always be just... And I was like, oh, girl, I forgot. That was the day we was arguing. Like, it's great that she's clearing the air, but unfortunately, fans aren't exactly on her side. They commented, JT been jealous since they let her dumb self out of jail. She always struck me as the type that get upset with her best friend having other friends. That's why everybody was so confused and been saying Miami been holding a group since she was locked up. You can tell JT felt a way about all the solo opportunities Carisha was getting. Every girl I know who played the I ain't friendly, don't invite me, I like to be by myself, girls, be losers and jealous. <laughs> and not for real, JT is jealous of Santana and Miami relationship for real. I've been seeing that. Child, not fans are still dragging JT even after she apologized. But I want to know what you guys think about this. So drop your thoughts in the comments, then check out this next video. Well, I just want to say this. Yeah, the jealousy stuff, I can't admit that. But I am going to say they both trash. Like, Y'all got to admit, man, they both trash. I know a lot of y'all be like, man, I see the girls. They both trash. Y'all at the comment section, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this beef between these two. Is it real? Is it fake? P publicity stunt? How it is? Who y'all rocking with? Let me know.